everyone, I'm Natalie Forte and today we're going to be making apples and cinnamon oatmeal 2.0. This is just a healthy alternative to the packaged oatmeal you can find at most grocery stores. Let's get started. Alright, so this is just a really simple oatmeal recipe. Um, I love to use steel cut oats. I know they can take longer than most oats. You can also use rolled oats for this. Totally up to you. But there's just something about the steel cut that I love. So we're just gonna take, I'm just doing one serving right now, a cup of water. So I like to chop the apples in kind of smaller pieces because they boil faster. So it's up to you. And I have really used every apple except Granny Smith. I feel like those are just too tart for this recipe. But again, whatever kind of apple you like. All right, what I'm gonna do, the water's about to boil. I use about an eighth or a quarter cup of steel cut oats per person. Um, an eighth for me, guys or kids might want more, so the quarter cup, I'm just gonna do a quarter cup, it's already boiling. So put that in there, and I turn it down to kind of medium high, just so it doesn't get crazy. And just stir that in there for a little bit. It takes about 15, 10 to 15 minutes to cook, um, and I'm gonna go right now and put in these chopped apples. Because you want the apples to get tender, so they'll just kind of melt in your mouth. Just like the olden days when I used to eat those packets. All right, stir that up. And then I'm gonna add a little cinnamon now. You can add it later if you want, but I just like the flavors to really set. I put a lot. Again, whatever, however much cinnamon you want, it's up to you. Keep, oh, it smells so good. Oh. It's it just smells like the holidays, but it does, it's not the holidays, it doesn't matter. All right, so it's been about 10 minutes, and now as it starts to thicken, oh, it's looking so good. Now we add the peanut butter. If you're allergic to peanut butter, you don't want peanut butter, use almond butter, cashew butter, whatever you want. If it's your kitchen, you're the one eating it. So I love apples and peanut butter. Who doesn't as a snack, right? So this kind of plays on that whole theme. So I just do about a spoonful. All right, so now it's starting to thicken and it's looking great. And again, if you guys like it thinner, that's fine. If you like it, you know, cooked more so it's super thick, totally up to you. But this is about the consistency I like. Turn that off, and then we're going to put it in your favorite bowl. I love white dishes, just because the food is the star, not the plate. Now, what I love to do is I love to add chia seeds on my oatmeal. I put it in my yogurt too. Anywhere I can get this superfood in, I am doing it. So I think it adds a nice little texture too. I just put a little bit or a ton, it's up to you. And if you wanna get crazy and add kind of a tropical note, you could do shredded coconut. So that's also an option, but I'm not gonna do that today. I'm just gonna do the chia seeds and kids will love this because You've got the apples, you got the cinnamon, you got the peanut butter. Again, everyone loves the apples and peanut butter snack, so they're gonna love this. Plus the fiber, the whole grains from the steel cuts, it's a no-brainer. Top it off with the superfood chia seeds, you're done. All right guys, thanks so much for watching, and don't forget to subscribe up above, and tell me your comments, tell me your favorite oatmeal recipe. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks so much.